What's going on guys? Back in here with another video. Today's video, I wanna talk about elevation. And what I have here are two Tyco pieces. As you can see, the blue one is raised where the tires go. And that's to help the cars get over the hump. Because this came from a set with uh, like four wheel drive vehicles with big tires. So they could easily go over the hump with no problem. Where the problem comes in is with cars like this, or I got another one close by, this guy here. And what happens, they scrape. And this, this blue piece came from a Harry Potter set. And I found out about this. I was talking to Terry Flynn from Hardin Creek Slot Cars. You know, go check him out. He has a lot of good stuff. I was trying to find tire, you know, like a higher profile tires to help him get over the hump. And he suggested this. And there's a few cars that will make it, but most of them still don't make it. So this, the words raised would have to be higher. And I'm gonna show you what I was trying to do. So what I was trying to do, I wanted to add this into the layout. Just to have some elevation changes. In the real world, the real world is not flat. There's elevation change. You have hills, dips, and all kinds of stuff. And that's something where, where we have lacking in HL scale. And this would, you know, these two pieces of Tyco, of course. And then it goes to the adaptive track. It goes back into the Tomy FX. And I'm going to show you where... I was trying to add that in. Like right after the railroad crossing, I wanted to have the elevation change. I you know, right now it's just going down like on an angle. I want it to be more, a little bit more realistic because in the real world there are elevation changes, you know, hills, dips, you know, etc. We don't have that in, I'd say that works with most cars, I should say. And I think that's kind of can't find the right word at the moment. But it, it just would be more realistic if we had elevation changes. And I'm going to show you the cars that would make it. And there's only uh, a few that would make it. So the only way it would work with this current track is if the, let me make this big again. If, where it's raised that, if it was a little bit higher, the cars would make it. So let me show you what type of clearance we have with each car. All right, guys, here we are. So let's put some cars on the hump and see if they would scrape or not. I'm holding the camera with my hand, so it's gonna be some shakiness involved. Excuse that. And you see here, this guy would scrape going over the hump. This is a Tyco wire pan. And I already know the 1.7 is not gonna make it, but I'm gonna put them on here anyway. And the 1.7 would scrape. It's one of my favorite cars, by the way. Let's see if Brian from Fast and Furious would make it. And Brian would not make it. And he is on. SRT. Let's see if this is a T chassis from Life Flight. 
Let's put them on there. And he would scrape. And this guy here is a uh, Mega G. And it would scrape. It would make it. Uh, let's try Steve McQueen. And Steve would make it. Steve McQueen would make it. This guy, this is a Jag chassis that fits under TJ bodies, most of them. And he won't make it. He's got a scrape. Let's try M chassis, Mercedes. And He's not gonna make it. He's gonna scrape. Let's try Team Renault. And Team Renault would make it. This is a G Plus. Let's see if Crockett would make it. No. Not gonna do it. It's that little silver piece down there. Hits. So Crockett won't make it. Bad guys would catch up to him. And the show would be over. Let's take the low rider. And he's on a T Jack chassis. And he would make it. To the low rider would make it. Let's try Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. Would she make it? And looks like, yeah, nope, it's gonna scrape. So Eleanor, he would get caught. Police to catch up to him, he's going to jail. You're not gonna make it. Let's check out Lambo. This is a Tyco narrow chassis, 440 narrow. And the Lambo was scraped. Until your fancy car, we had torn up. And last, we have the King, Richard Petty. He's on a, what do you call him? Ultra G. And he would make it if it wasn't for that magnet. So. There you have it, guys. The King won't make it. We have a few cars that will make it. The Super G Plus, the G Plus, the T Jet, and that's it. The rest of them will scrape. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to long stroke it. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.